Let's learn how to create a lesson in Nearpod using your own resources. Begin by opening a new lesson window using the Create button at the top of your screen. Select Lesson, the first option, for the most flexibility. There are three basic steps to creating a lesson. Step 1. Add your own resources using the Upload Your Own Files button in the middle of the screen. You can use your Google Slides, PowerPoint Slides, PDFs, or individual images. Step 2. While the slides process, consider where you'd like to add media to enhance your key points and activities to start a conversation or check for understanding. Step 3. Click Add New to add any piece of media or activity to your lesson. Check out the other Nearpod Essential Tips and Tricks videos for ideas and step-by-step -step guides for the media and activity options available for you in Nearpod. Consider two ways you might use a Nearpod lesson. The most basic way to use a Nearpod lesson is as your presentation tool for your live instruction in the classroom to the whole group. Share the code or link with your students and deliver your instruction while being able to hear from all of your students. Review the data on the live teacher dashboard during the lesson to catch any common misconceptions. Another way to use a Nearpod lesson is as an independent learning option using a student-paced version. Students move through the lesson at their own pace in their own location. You can continue to review the data on the teacher dashboard and support as needed along the way. A pro tip about a Nearpod lesson is as a single activity. Create a lesson that includes only one or two activities or pieces of media. Use this to supplement a more traditional or a physical hands-on learning situation such as a science lab, art lesson, or even physical education class. The Nearpod lesson can begin and end your lesson without changing the unique learning experiences in the middle. A bonus pro tip is to add your own voice to content slides for added support. While in the slide editor, click on the speaker icon and choose the record voice option. Simply click on the red microphone and read all of the text out loud. When finished, click pause, then save. You can add your voice to slides that you create and also to content slides from downloaded Nearpod lessons. When students get to the slide, they can simply click play and hear your voice reading them the slide out loud.